Okay, hi everyone, welcome back, and in this video we are going to check out Internet Computer's price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Wave's classic technical analysis and also indicators, and we are going to see is this move up right in here actually a bullish sign, and if it is actually a good sign, how much can we count on it? Now, before we see what is going on in here, we are going to check out the midterm scenario. I'm not going to check out the long term scenario because I don't want to make this video any longer than it should be. Just checking the midterm scenario will do for this video. Let's go on daily time frame. There we go. Here's the deal. In terms of Elliott waves, if you want to be bullish and you want to argue that we are going to have our final bottom, for example, around this area, and maybe this is going to be like a very strong support, okay, off of the lowest line here, you need to be able to find a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave on the upside. This specific example is a normal 5 wave. The rules for it are, we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave 2 and 4 and in any kind of impulsive structure, wave 3 in here shouldn't be the smallest wave and 4 sub waves, you probably know it by now, but if you don't, as you can see in here, we are going to have 5 wave up into wave 1, 3 and 5, and for wave 2 and 4, for our corrections, we can have different patterns, let's say, maybe like an ABC into wave 2 and a WXY into wave 4, and again, if you can find this structure of the lowest low in ICP, you can be bullish and you can argue with quite a bit of confidence that the bottom is going to be in. And this is why I am so optimistic. You see, I believe we are having a very clear 5 wave up off of the lowest low about, let's say, $2.5 to somewhere around this high, about $17. And followed by that, we are having a correction and structure down. And this thing on a higher degree, I believe, is going to be an extremely, extremely bullish setup because I can say this is 5 wave up into a wave 1 correction for wave 2. And the next move, well, according to this scenario, is going to be a big one on the upside into wave 3, 4, 5 in order to continue our uptrend. Now, what about the short term price action? Let's go on H4 time frame. There we go. So, we said this move down is going to be most likely in form of a correction. You can consider different patterns for it, but if you want to say that this point right in here is actually going to be the bottom for our correction, I think you can argue this is going to be a WXY in form of a flat and a zigzag. Here is ABC down in form of probably a flat structure into wave W, ABC up a correction for wave X, and from this high, we are having a zigzag down into our wave Y, and the subways for it are going to be like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down into a correction for wave B. Maybe ABC, maybe WXY, maybe even a triangle. Doesn't really matter that much. And then a 5 wave impulsive thrush on the outside into our ceiling. Let's go on the live chart and count the waves. So this can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down into a correction for wave B. And then from the side to about here, I think you can argue that this is going to be and our 5 wave down into our C leg, which basically suggests that the bottom is set. Now, this thing right in here looks actually really, really good, but because of some other reasons that I'm going to tell you in this video, I'm having a bit of a problem with the bottom being in at the moment in internet computer price chart. Let's go on even lower time frames. There we go. So, here's the situation. Earlier in the video, I said if we can find 5 wave up off of the lowest low, we can be very optimistic. And I can tell you, this is one, two, and then big move up into wave three to about here or here. Doesn't really matter. Correction for four, another move up into wave five. So as you can see, according to this scenario, maybe the bottom is in and this is going to be like, for example, a one, two, and then big move up into wave three, four, five, which suggests we are going to be actually very, very bullish in ICB. But where is the problem? The problem is this move on the upside right in here. Let's zoom in a bit more. Okay. So in the previous videos in ICP, I was saying, well, okay, if you want to say that this is actually a five up and this is a correction down from this point, what you need to see is a consolidation pattern and then another move on the upside. So why was that? Because at that point, I could have been able to argue that this is one, two, three, four, five, and basically we are going to have some more big moves on the upside in the short term. But what happened? Instead, from here we actually got a solid move on the upside. Now, in the previous video in ICP, if you remember, I was saying just wait a bit more and see 
in this move down are we going to take these laws right in here or not if we take them that is going to be a very bad sign because at that point from this point to about this side i'm not going to be able to argue that we are having an impulsive structure anymore and chances are this move up from this slope is going to be a correction in form of an a b c zigzag and the message is at one point in internet computer we are going to get a move down in order to take the lowest low in here for the first target about let's say 6.2 dollars so what happened in the short term we actually got another move on the side but did we take these lows right in here or not let's actually hide everything there we go let's zoom a bit more excuse me okay so let's just do this as you can see unfortunately it seems like that we did actually take the lows now in some charts for example in binance you can actually say that we didn't take the loss in here but to me this is actually a very very dangerous sign that suggests maybe we shouldn't jump at the moment into any bullish conclusion in internet computers price chart and if the bearish scenario in the short term in here is actually in play well okay we said it earlier this suggests we're going to get another move down in order to take this low and at that point you might actually see this move down continue a bit more in icp and then it we might take the lowest low in here as well about 5.8 dollars so this is why i am a bit careful talking completely bullish in icp price chart sure in here i can find a five wave up but in like very very short time in this area i am still not convinced that this is going to be an impulsive structure on the upside and this point right in here is actually the bottom for our correction now let's zoom in a bit more and see what is going on in here so here's the deal I can find a 5 wave down in here and tell you maybe this is going to be, for example, the end of our wave 4. And then we are having in here another move down into wave 5, which on a high degree is going to be into this larger degree wave 5 right in here. And basically, this means maybe we have completed a 5 wave down. And now from this point to about the recent price action, we are going to have a correction on the upside, probably in form of an abc expanded flat which suggests after this move up is over we might actually see another move down in icp structure so again this is another reason in my opinion that suggests maybe we should be a bit careful in icp and don't really trust this move a whole lot now if you don't have another reason to be a bit careful well okay we talked about it before when we were right around these areas i think in here we are having a very very important cluster of resistance area from weekly and daily time frame at the same time and this region does actually have quite a lot of validity and it is going to be between eight and a half to about 10.1 10.2 dollars and as you can see since we are very very close to this region for me as this it just doesn't make sense to go long at the moment okay if icp is actually bullish and if in like very short term we are going to get some more moves on the upside i want to see in here a move down in form of a correction structure maybe abc maybe wxy maybe even a triangle and then right in here i can tell you well okay you know what at least we are going to get another move on the upside but i promise you even at these prices i'm not actually going to say that we are completely bullish because this structure off of the lowest low in here about 6.2 dollars to me look suspiciously like a correction and not an impulsive movement so in the conclusion this move up right in here can be a bullish sign, but I'm going to be very, very careful about it and basically not jump into any bullish conclusion yet. You can say, sure, that this is going to be, if I just put the chart on regular scale, excuse me, there we go, like a double bottom structure right in here. And if you want to have a target for it, you should measure the height of the pattern from here to about this point and put it at your breaking point. There we go. That will get you to about, let's say, 8.7 8.8 dollars which from the current point that would be about let's say like a five to six percent move on the upside that's absolutely fair enough but again in here please please note that we are having a very important cluster of resistance areas and makes perfect sense to be a bit cautious now in terms of indicators what is going on let's go on weekly charts so much more in here okay so as you can see we are having a buy signal in SOC RSI, which is a good sign, but a sell signal in MACD. Now, if you don't want to be involved in any kind of short-term price action, I would actually highly suggest to just wait a bit more and see 
a voice signal also in MACD and at that point you can be bullish with a lot of confidence but for now it's a bit too soon to be optimistic and in daily time frame well okay this is actually a good sign because we are having now confirmed buy signal in MACD and stock RSI at the same time we suggest this move up is going to maybe continue a bit more and I do think again that it's going to continue a bit more but that doesn't mean that we should ignore the fact that we are reaching to somewhere around this very important support area okay please please understand that so I hope I explained everything well and you understood what is going on in ICP's price chart anyway if you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some solid TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, and you want to have access to the technical analysis course videos, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And I hope you have a wonderful time. Goodbye.